So we're gonna be photographing my praying mantis on a dead thistle. In the last video, we photographed my Phidippeus comatus jumping spider named Hoppy on the lava rock that we found when we went away on holiday. In this video, we're going to be using the dead thistles that we collected, and I'm going to photograph my praying mantis on this dead thistle. But let's get it all set up, and let's bring you along for the ride. Again, you've seen me do this, but looking at the figures on YouTube, you like these type of videos, so I'm gonna give you another one. So what I've got to do is choose which thistle do I want to use. Now, unfortunately, my large praying mantis, which is absolutely perfect for this shoot, looks like he's molting. So unfortunately, I can't use him, so I have to use my little praying mantis and i'm thinking of using this one here for this job so let's put these away so i have my specimen holders okay there we go and i'm just looking at the uh, the thistle head to see what parts do i like what parts i don't like don't like these protruding parts i might just try and bend those back a little bit We'll snap them off. We're going to snap those off. I don't particularly like those in the shot. There we go. Just put them to one side and I can see there that's looking okay. Now ideally we want our praying mantis to come up here and then onto the side here and we can snap and get our image. I'm trying to work out if I want a background card or not. I'm going to take my camera. I'm just going to take a test shot now. So again we are with the Canon EOS R. Same settings as in the last video. So we're talking one two for a second f8 at 100 iso no i'm not going to do portrait i was going to go portrait but i'm going to go landscape uh, because i think it might look good as a landscape so i'm just going to put the thistle on the left hand side of the frame focus and take a shot there we go and now you can picture the prime mantis now going up the side of that and hopefully he'll play ball but obviously we don't know now, as it comes to backgrounds, I don't know if I want one in here or not. Let's just have a play with one. So we have an image with, without, I like the without. We're going to go for a black background. In fact, I might even go black and white. Again, I'm not going to know until I'm editing the image. But it's time now to get our prey mantis out. So this is an African mantis that the wife bought me for Valentine's Day. Let's get him out. Beautiful little mantis. And again, I'm just going to put him onto the stalk. Then hopefully he'll climb up and get into a nice position. It does give us an opportunity though to just test out our camera settings. Do we need to adjust our f-stop or not? So I'm going to show you what I'm going to do there. Now I'm going to take a picture of him there. He's not in position. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to focus on the front of his eye. And then we'll check the image. We'll zoom in to see if everything is in focus. And we are slightly overexposed, so I'm just going to drop down my TTO. But the uh, the exposure isn't what I'm looking at. I'm looking at the depth of field because I'm not going to be focus stacking. I don't want to focus stack. You just want to see if it's good enough. It looks like it's good enough. Let's take another shot. This video is sponsored by my new tutorial, The Complete Shot jumper on a mat. In this new tutorial I will take you from start to finish on how I created this image of a jumping spider sling on a matchstick head. We will start off with the gear, we will then move on to the photography, we will do some editing in Lightroom and then we will finish off the image in Photoshop. And again the complete process is there from start to finish. You even get the raw files so you can follow along. Check out the complete shot jumper on a match in the description below or go to stuartwood.com. Let's just pop him off and then pop him back on where I want him to be. And hopefully it'll keep still just like he was just. Okay. Well, that was easy. What should we do for the rest of the shoot? <laughs> Sometimes you have shoots that go like that where they just play ball right from the offset. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to double up on my chances to make sure I've got the shot I want. Because what we can do now is we can start playing around with this guy and see if anything happens. 
it would be great if we could get him to look at the camera now, I think. We've got the shot I wanted. Okay, let's get him looking at the camera. He's looking at the camera. Now, what I want to do here uh, is I'll notice, because I'm recording video, I've got video lights on. So I want to turn off this video light over here. This side of my face will get dark, but it's only while I'm doing this photography. Let's just turn that off because I'm getting a little bit of flaring on the left-hand side of the frame. There, beautiful. He's a bit of a poser, isn't he? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that image now. I'm going to take it into Lightroom. But what we'll do now is we'll give it a, uh, a black and white color treatment from one of my macro presets. And that looks gorgeous. So there we go. We have our praying mantis on our thistle. And if you are liking these raw, basic photo shoot type videos rather than the technical videos, then do let me know in the comments below and I'll get more of them produced. But for now, I shall leave it there. My name's Stuart Wood. I hope you liked this video. I want to thank you for getting to the end of it. And again, as always, I'll see you on the next video. The Pierce Comatus named Hoppy. It was Hoppy, wasn't it? Hoppy. Yeah. Ho I'm going to go ahead and jump... Uh, no.